Schlag! Ja! Yes! Good morning. We are somewhere near Car Carpenisi and I uh, have a very good news for you. First, we found it. In an IK operation, this is the Stone of Tears. It may look simple, but it carries great magic. The knights are having breakfast here in the inn. It's beautiful outside. Look over there, sun is shining. It's freezing outside, something like four degrees, but we will do it. Sir Jerry, how was the operation yesterday? Wonderful. <laughs> it was not easy great to... Success, great success. It was mm. not easy not, to retrieve it. Not easy, not easy. Yeah. Lots it's of fighting. Humbling, lots yes. of fighting, <laughs> but in the end, our we, forces succeeded. Okay, we have... Object number one, we are ready to go. Stone of Tears. After taking possession of the precious Stone of Tears, our journey was about to take us all the way from Carpenisi to Ayoanina. We headed first to a city called Arta, in which we were supposed to meet a local wizard who had information regarding our next stop. As it is well known, the Stone of Tears will give the holder great powers, but in order to assure its function, the Fellowship had to perform the Circle of Light ceremony. The road from Carpenisi to Arta is a beautiful twisty road that holds great danger, as it is going through the Black Forest of the Orcs. We were lucky enough to listen to a local witch advice who told us that in that forest there are dangerous invisible dragons. Only we knew that only those who carry the stone bounded by the circle of light can see them. Sure enough, as we were about to escape the black forest of the orcs, we encountered our fierce and invisible dragon who tried to stop us in our way. Lady Shish held the stone that prevented the dragon from spitting fire on us and made the vicious battle much easier. The big vicious invisible dragon, we can continue in our way. The battle that is going to enter the history of all battles. The battle who changed the face of history. The battle that will bring us to our destination. The second item that we need to find. And it is in a place called Ayoanina. Oh, but first we have to find Wizard Greenbell. Greenbell is in Arta and he is going to provide us with a password to the chamber when we can find our second item. We are on the road to Alta 
hopefully we will meet that wizard in good time because uh, we don't have much time to waste uh, it's a very nice twisty road here our Bavarian horses are fresh they slept well and rested during the night our uh, innkeeper took care of them and uh, it looks like that so far we are in good time um, looks like if it goes like this we might even save the princess after all the fellowship of the clutch on its quest the Tatarna bridge is a bridge over the Kremasta artificial lake which was created after the building of a huge dam in the narrowest point of the river Akelos it was built between 1971 and 1973 the name Tatarna comes from a nearby monastery in the same place where was the 17th century arch stone bridge over the river Achelos. Near the old Tatarna bridge, the first battle of Greeks from Romelia against the Turks during the struggle for independence in 1821 took place. Not far from the new bridge is a hole in the ground. In that hole, according to the locals and other sources, many opponents of the National Liberation Front organization were killed and thrown in the abyss, dead or alive. While traveling in these areas, one would expect to meet uh, elf's magic, and indeed some uh, mysterious spell was cast on the bridge that threatened to throw Sir Jerry's horse on his side. Luckily the fellowship was on alert and no damage was done. Here we go again. Sir Massimo, alone. I guess he's praying. I hope his prayer will be accepted by the good spirits. battle with the invisible dragon left us tired and thirsty so it was only natural for us to stop in a local cafe on the road and admire the not so busy natives who were sitting there While we were riding on the small roads to Arta, I was thinking to myself what makes four people who have a very quiet life go on such a quest? Is it because they really want to save that princess that they don't know? Is it because of the money or the fame? Is it just the adventure? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe... Just maybe, whatever. We have reached the city of Arta a bit later than expected, but managed to meet with our contact local wizard. The assisting wizard not only accepted us with greetings, but took us on a long tour around the city. We heard from him about how it used to be once the capital of Greece, that there was a big Jewish community in the city that was transported to Auschwitz. Not few survived. We visited the monastery, an old hidden synagogue, and took a short walk inside the walls of the city castle.
we stopped to have lunch in a local small restaurant. It was there where we, he uncovered to us the name and the location of our next object, the Stone of Fear. We parted near the famous and beautiful old bridge of Arta and took off to Ayoanina along the old road at the foot of the National Park of Tsumerka. went down on us as we approach our final destination of the day, a local inn on the village that was looking at the city of Ayohanina. We reached the inn in darkness and were accepted by the local innkeeper that was no less than a great fan of Lenny. At the local pub, we performed the switching chair of Copernicus ritual powerful spell that was supposed to protect us on our dangerous mission at night retrieving the stone of fear. It is known in the mountains that all you need for the Copernicus spell are four chairs, four knights and a ginger cat. Thank you for joining us in this episode. Stay tuned and see us in the next episode exploring the mountains of Zagora and learn about the Stone of Fear. Yes, don't forget to subscribe down below and leave a message so we can hear what you think.